Drunk Driving in New Mexico Nationwide, in 2018, underage drinkers ages 16 to 20 accounted for 15% of fatal crashes while impaired by alcohol. In the same year, ages 21 to 24 accounted for 27%. Between the years 2003 to 2012 in New Mexico, 1,254 deaths were caused by driving under the influence. 24% higher than the national rate. Ways to avoid driving under the influence include designated drivers. Have a friend or family member ahead of time volunteer to drive those who plan to drink later. Use a ride sharing service like Uber or Lyft. Plan to stay the night. Given the homeowner's approval, if it's a house party, find a comfy couch or a guest bedroom. Or safely relocate. In some cases, you can sleep off your intoxication as long as you park your vehicle and show no intentions of going anywhere. Put your keys in the trunk and sleep in the back seat. Even with these four methods to avoid getting behind the wheel, DUIs still account for 40% of traffic crashes resulting in death for the state of New Mexico. Why? Well, one argument is punishment. Many think the laws against drunk driving are not strict enough meaning rather than learning the first time, many DUIs are committed by repeat offenders. Before, a first-time offender would need to pay the court fees and get their license revoked for six months. Now, a first-time offender must pay the court fees, have their license revoked for up to a year, have an ignition interlock device installed, and serve up to one year in jail. The more offenses, the greater the punishments. Second-time offenders often get two years in jail and their license revoked. Third-time offenders usually get three years in jail. And jail time can actually reach a life sentencing after four DUI convictions. If driving wild license is revoked, up to a $1,000 fine can be charged to the driver and the vehicle may be booted, as well as an additional year in jail. However, should punishment be the main motive to avoid driving under the influence? Does it really take four DUI convictions, up to six years of jail time, a permanent record of DUIs, and the inability to operate one or more vehicles to communicate the risk of driving while intoxicated? Well, here's what you can do to reduce the risk. Many of us are not in a position to create a better legislation, but we are in a position to look out for one another as a community. If you see someone on the road driving under the influence, pull over and call 911. If you are at a party and someone is leaving, planning to drive while intoxicated, don't let them get behind the wheel. If you know there's going to be alcohol where you're going, have a plan. Thank you.